And finally, the last page of the study, uh, not study team test, the chapter six test, this is the individual test, um, had three systems of equations and you were asked to solve them using um, either the equals values method, the substitution method, or the elimination method. And um, part of the problem was I wanted you to pick um, I, what I think is probably the optimal um, method for each of the three systems presented. And as I glance at these, I guess um, D, I probably would say I would use equal values method. And I would pick that with for this one because it it's it has them both in y equals right by itself. So I'll, I could just start with this idea that hey, since y is equal to itself, I can take this y and set it equal to this y. That's the idea there. Um, on b, if I look at it, um, well, let me look at this one first. Um, probably this one I would say I would use the elimination method. Um, I'd have to multiply one of them but I'll go with that. And so, a, a couple of you used elimination method for this one. You transformed it first by moving this um, 8x over and it became a negative 8x and then that, that did a quite ni a nice job. Uh, I'm going to use substitution here just because I can see that y is alone and I can replace um, this y in the first equation with uh, 8x minus 18. So I'll use substitution here. Um, just because I'm supposed to use each each method once. However, I, I really like the argument of I think this is easier to do with elimination. So let's go ahead and look at the work, what it should look like for these. So I'm going to rewrite the top equation. Right, I've got my 8x plus 5, and here comes the substitution. Instead of writing y, I'm going to write uh, 8x minus 18. And on the other side of that, that equals the number 6. So again, this is exactly, exactly the first equation. The only thing that's different is instead of writing y, I've put in an appropriate substitution for it. Um, so. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and use the distributive property here. So I've got the 8x and then plus, this is going to be 40x, not 50x, 40x. And when I multiply 5 times uh, negative 18, yes, I used a calculator, it's negative 90. And then over here, that equals the number 6. Um, if I combine my like terms, I've got 48x minus 90 equals 6. I can add 90 to each side and divide both sides by 48. So x is 96 48, um, which is fortunately the same thing as 2. So I know x is 2. That's not a complete solution, though, because I need to know y. And really, the solution should be the ordered pair x, y. So in order to figure out what y is, I'm just going to use this second equation right, which I use for the substitution, but I'm going to use it because it nicely tells me what y is. It says, you want y? That's easy. y is equal to 8 times the value of x that you found minus 18. Uh, we know that x was 2, so that I plugged it in there, so y should equal uh, 2 times 8 is 16 minus 18, which means y should be negative 2. So I have the two components I need, and my solution would be um, uh, 2 comma negative 2. That's right. X is 2 and Y is negative 2. So that's A. I use that down in the substitution section and I think you can see what the substitution looks like. Let's go over here and use the equal values method for C first and then we'll come back to B. So on this one I'm going to go ahead and uh, set the left and right hand side. I'm sorry. I'm going to set there's two different ways to write y, right? There's this way to write y, and there's this way to write y. So I'm going to set those two things that are equal to each other, equal to each other. So I'll write down at x plus 15, and that equals negative 3x minus 17. Um, I can add 3x to both sides, so that'll give me 4x plus 
15 equals negative 17 and I'll subtract 15 from both sides. Um, when I take away 15 from negative 17, I'm at negative 30, negative 32. Mm -hmm. And when I divide both sides by 4, I get that x is the number negative 8. So I know x, it's negative 8. The question is, what's y? Well, <laughs> there's two ways to get y, right? You can see there's two different equations here, and I could pick either one. I'll just pick the first, the first one up there. It says that y should equal um, x, which is negative 8 plus 15. And if I combine those two, I do get that y is the number 7. So my solution, I believe, is uh, x is negative 8, y is 7. So let me write that down. Um, negative 8, comma, 7. Um, I didn't see this with, say this with part A, but I, you know, just to be clear, um, I've got my calculator in my hand. I would, I would definitely just run through and verify that both of those um, were true. In other words, when I plugged in negative 8 to the top equation and negative 8 for x in the bottom equation, both of those should produce 7. And if they're not producing 7, I've got something, but it turns out it's not the solution. Um, final problem. We're going to solve this one using elimination. And I think probably the most straightforward thing to do would be just take this equation and I'm going to multiply the top equation through by negative 6. So if I do that, my uh, y values will eliminate. So this is going to become a negative 36x and then minus 6y, and that's equal to negative 66. Ran out of room here. Um, so let's rewrite this, this other equation again. This is going to be 9x plus 6y equals 12. And when I combine these equations, um, negative 36x plus 9x uh, ends up being a negative 27x. My y's, negative 6y and positive y, 6y, that's a 0. So that eliminated just like we intended it to. And then finally, negative 66 plus 12 is the number negative 54. Now, I need to divide both sides by negative 7. So x, I believe, should be negative 54 divided by negative 27, which is actually positive 2. It's a nice number. Um, and then to figure out what y is, I guess I'll just use this, this top equation. I don't see any harm in that. So this just says, hey, 6 times the 2, right, the value we just found, plus y is 12. Ah, oh, no, 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 don't do that. It's 11. I'm copying the first equation. That's how mistakes are made. So 6 times x plus y is 11. 12 plus y is 11. Therefore, y has to be negative 1. So I know both x and y, and my solution would be 2 comma negative 1. So... I I appreciate the fact that this is probably longer. It's taken more time than I have with a lot of the individual tests. I just want to make sure that um, I'm trying to meet everyone's needs. And please realize that uh, if you don't need parts of this or you understand it, please don't watch that video or go by it quickly. Uh, but do try and focus in on the parts where you're struggling and you're not quite there yet. Uh, this is Mr. Roberts. I'll see you soon in class.